let me tell you that caught up to me so badly near the end and i was cramming 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 trying to understand everything because the true way to really understand all the material is the number two second most important step to be successful is to find accountability accountability is going to help you so much it's someone to help you with following up to ensure that you follow through on commitments someone to bounce questions off of let me just start off real quick saying this accountability can easily just be you sharing the fact that you're taking the CompTIA A plus exam I would encourage you like tell at least a friend you know tell some somebody like whoever you know a roommate or whatever especially the people you live with you definitely want to share with them what's going on but I feel for myself personally like when I share what I'm doing and a goal that I'm working on and then other people hear about it they're naturally gonna hold me accountable just by asking hey how is it going with that goal hey are you still committing to it like for me myself right now it's the month of September I'm going through a goal of not drinking alcohol for the whole month because I want to be more productive and get out more videos like this on YouTube so me sharing the goal with other people lets them know okay like he's serious about his goals another thing about accountability once you commit to taking the exam decide to stay committed the entire way through so no one can make this happen but you you've got to put in the work but accountability is what helps you stick to the goals that you create write that down that's so good accountability helps you stick to the goals that you create accountability also comes in clutch if you feel like you will lose motivation motivation for myself i'm someone like i just said who starts off strong all gung-ho and then give it like a month or two i'm like oh not even a month give it a week or two and i'm like okay like i kind of lost my motivation here so for me i knew that i needed to find a group or someone to study with in order to get through this a plus thing so here i'll say it this way i knew consistency was a weakness for me so i joined forces with someone perscolas for whom discipline was a strength so find that person in your life because discipline is what will get you through here's another tip remind yourself of the reason that you decided to take this exam and to join this career so for me i'm a big journal person i write things down so like maybe write it on an index card and put it on your wall something of just like why you made this decision to start this career and don't forget that right so when you're going through the times and you're like i think i want to give up i don't think this is for me blah, 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 and you're halfway through you already committed to it so remember like see it through right you got to see it through my boy so number three number three number three my lord number three is obsess over the material the course objectives we're back to the course objectives i want to prevent you from taking this exam twice i've seen it happen with other people and i'm just like it's not worth it you know what i mean like it's expensive you want to save your money so when i first started out on the it journey i was an all or nothing type of learner so i went all out with the planning stage right i went to home depot i got myself a whiteboard i made a vision board i went to youtube i started and completed an online network plus course before i even took the a plus course i took a whole network plus course took down 42 pages of handwritten notes and watched dozens of videos on youtube on youtube just to understand the field and the career of it and i was just like you know i need to understand everything about this i want to know like i said i'm very bottom to top oriented but the point is here the, the reason i got the most out of the experience is because i i obsessed over the material this is not necessary for everyone to do obviously this was my journey that was my style of learning and it worked out great for me that's why i'm telling you about it but you know this was just really to see if i was interested enough in it or if the hype would fade away and also i was terrified of learning so it took a lot of me watching other people doing it before i got the courage to jump in there's a lot of videos out there and you might feel like there's too many to choose from literally i've watched dozens but i found teachers who worked best for my style like teachers who use animation uh, let me just rattle off real quickly the people that i relied on the most when i was preparing for the a plus exam jorge from network engineering academy i think his channel is like nea he is fantastic when he talks about storytelling and that applies to interviews so when you're interviewing for jobs and an interviewer will ask you hey what do you know about um about layer three switches right so instead of just giving them the cookie cutter definition off an index card he's gonna say what you should do is be a storyteller oh well there was this one time when you know i was trying to configure da 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 and i'm not going to get into trying to explain all that right now but like you literally begin to tell a story of what you know about that technology rather than just giving a definition and i think that's a fantastic piece of advice because if you can show how you implemented that piece of technology and that device versus just what you know about it it's gonna it's gonna have you stand out so much more from other other candidates and job interviews and that's a whole nother topic maybe i'll do things about my job search process and job hunting i think 
think there's plenty of advice that I've learned from people that I can help you out with. So definitely subscribe and you'll see more videos about this in the future. Another type of teacher you might want to look out for on YouTube are people who have a passion for IT, who have a wide breadth of knowledge. So basically those who are multidisciplinary, um, they can speak from different angles, different, different areas of IT. So Network Chuck, he has a fantastic CCNA program for free, which would just give you a good networking background and understanding of how the OSI model works. He actually goes through Packet Tracer a lot. So watching him just do that before I even got into the A plus program was so beneficial. Power Cert is like, it makes everything that is conceptual become a reality. So it literally is just brilliant, like brilliant. Okay, so Zach from IT Career Questions, I watch his videos a lot when I'm trying to, oh, actually I used them a lot when I was trying to decide what field of IT I want to get into. So that's how I ruled out like help desk. I knew I didn't really want to start off with help desk. I said, okay, I want to focus on network administration. So use those guys, please um, tell them that I sent you. No, I'm just kidding. But look up any of them and they're gonna have fantastic videos for you. This guy's singing in Chinese in my ears. ASMR G. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Why oh, I sound like Trump? Okay, so we're still under step three of how to be successful, right? Obsessing over the material. So another reason that's very important is because I tried to slack off and take it easy during the last few weeks of the course, right? I started only showing up for a few lectures and I started scanning through the PowerPoint slides instead of actually reading through the textbook and the chapters in the textbook. Let me tell you, that caught up to me so badly near the end and I was cramming and cramming and cramming trying to understand everything because the, the the true way to really understand all the material is to get that textbook you can probably find a pdf of it online or you can buy the 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 printed book i think it's by professor mike myers i think he wrote the book but you get a hold of that and you read all those chapters you're going to understand all the material the best way like you're going to pass the exam if you if you read through that that's one half of what you need to do the second thing is you need to get your hands on some resources that represent actual test questions and simulations right so you know that there's simulations simulations on the exam, right? So these are things where you're going to drag and drop, you're going to, you know, match up uh, definitions to um, whatever the opposite of a definition is. One of the most ideal ways to prepare yourself for those exact scenarios is to glance at websites like Pass Leader and Pass CompTIA. So, okay, like these are not sponsored by CompTIA, right? Like these are definitely test questions that people have remembered and I think they put together online and stuff. And so use it with a grain of salt. Not everything's accurate. Maybe you should use it, maybe you shouldn't use it. But what I'm saying is like, if you really want to understand what this is gonna, exam is going to look like, Pass CompTIA. Another thing, labs, and online simulators are available. So as you're studying, I don't know if you're going to be taking a self-taught route or like a course with a school like Prescolis, but you want to get a hold of some online simulations. So if you never mess with a computer before and you don't know what it looks like when you open all this up, uh, there's online simulations, right? So they're going to let you open up a computer and see what the CPU looks like, what the thermal paste looks like that goes in between the CPU and the motherboard. What are all the different peripherals? Um, you know, the USB slots, what, what are those? Where are they located? How are they connected? What are they soldered onto? A lot of this information, uh, you know, like dealing with mother, motherboards and things like that, I actually have previous experience with because I used to be an engineer's assistant back in Connecticut when I was in high school. So I had a fantastic internship, job opportunity, but learning about how that technology has changed, you know, that was back in 2011, we're in 2021 now so just seeing how the technology of motherboards have progressed things have gotten smaller you know hard drives are smaller it's it's something you're gonna you're gonna appreciate and then you're also gonna need to be aware of so i'm wrapping it up here but i can't stress this enough um the a plus exam is more material than you think it's gonna be so don't take the exam until you feel comfortable again what does feel comfortable mean feeling comfortable for me did not mean getting an 80 percent passing score on the practice exams the a plus practice exams have such a huge pool of questions to pull from it's really hard to guarantee that you'll get an 80 percent score or a passing score on every exam that you take for me personally i was getting like 50 percent on all the practice exams even up to the week before i took the the final exam so um i wouldn't say rely on that score as a as a gauge or you know determining factor of whether or not you're ready my way of determining whether or not i was ready was looking at the the objectives on the comptia a plus website or you can even invest in professor messer's course notes right so you look at those if you can look at any 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 objective and you can know understand exactly what it is or how it applies to like the, the subject that it's underneath you're good 
if you don't you need to review that you need to go ahead and you need to make flashcards right so this literally these flashcards are stuff that i i put together i think the week before i took the exam so i had this stack right here i was all set and then i went back to the objectives and i was like oh man okay there's actually a few more terms that i don't know so then i made another stack and i just kept making index cards until i wrote down everything i didn't know you do that you're gonna be good